Uh, anytime you double click the icon, Vivotech's installation wizard will automatically determine what type of network environment you have. In this case, we're using a private DHCP, meaning you can automatically obtain the IP address from the server, from the actual router. You don't necessarily have to program the IP address into each camera manually. Click on Next. And then a, a video window will load where you can see uh, all the IP addresses that are Vivotech products on this network. Now, going talking about the uh, DHCP feature from your router, it is a fast way to manually to, to automatically obtain IP addresses. As you can see, uh, it only took a few seconds here to get the IP addresses for a number of Vivotech cameras. But in reality, it would be best if you could actually program the IP address directly into the camera so that anytime your router resets for any reason, you don't lose the IP address for each camera. So for example, let's sort this in uh, order of smallest to largest. We'll take the largest camera here just for an example. I'm going to double click on this, the one ending in 168, and it'll open up an Internet Explorer browser window. Within this browser window, I can see the picture of, the, of whatever the camera is viewing, and I have the ability here to configure the settings. If you click on Network, right now it's set to obtain the IP address automatically using the DHCP server. You can click on Use a Fixed IP Address and then change it to something else. That's what I would really recommend for anybody doing a permanent IP camera installation. But if you're just testing the camera and just playing around with it, then you can leave it on Get IP Address Automatically.